Thank you. Uh, may I say how happy Anna and I are to see you here tonight. Uh, as you know, Heather's getting married and <laughs> obviously have a thousand and one things on her mind. And uh, really, we can't expect her to attend. But quite frankly, I'm surprised that Harry and Ralph aren't here. Oh, you didn't ask him. Hmm? Oh, I did. Not according to Harry. Let's make a star off anyway, eh? Yes, right. I put a card through his letterbox. I distinctly remember. Well, why don't you just pop over and make sure? I am sure. If we don't get stars, we'll be here all night. Yeah. Well, you know what Harry's like. If we don't ask him, he'll moan for a month. Oh, yeah, I'll go and get him, eh? No, if you can't be bothered, why should we? Well, it'll only take a minute. I say we get stars, as he was told last week, wasn't he? Yes. He was all for it. That's it, then. That's stars. <laughs> right. <clears throat> the potential of the community to reduce crime oh, yeah. Yeah. by becoming more aware of their environment <laughs> and the needs of their <laughs> neighbours <laughs> is recognised and endorsed with the introduction of Home Watch. Hands up for coffee. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, that's the title... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Could we need that for a minute, please, Alan? You carry on. Terry. Oh, yeah, please, thanks. Oh, just got going. Oh, I think you're doing Yeah, thank coffee, you, please. Man. The title Home Watch serves to emphasise the united efforts of police and public to combat domestic burglaries and localised crime, in particular... Your coffee, Billy? ...by creating a local... Billy! Well, I don't think we've got any beer, but um, whiskey or gin? Oh, whiskey will be fine, thanks. Whiskey. Cheers. By creating a local atmosphere not conducive to crime. <laughs> Anything with it? Yeah, the public. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we are then. Um, anybody else? How about you, Bob? Okay. He's not going to have stuff there. I think she's on the <laughs> <dance. laughs> Yes, go on then. Yes. Yeah. Don't say when. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just are. a small one. <laughs> public participation you want so many coffee? will never imply any onus on an individual to risk personal injury by confronting potential criminals. Most of our interior doors can be locked, thus delaying an intruder before he can be apprehended. <laughs> the, uh, you'll notice window locks on all the vulnerable windows. <laughs> Billy! Wrong? Vulnerable women. No, no! <laughs> uh, women. Alan and I have no objection to you all looking around the house to see the security measures we've installed. That's very nice of you, thank you. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, could you let us all in on the joke? Uh, I was just wondering, like, uh, Who's going to apprehend him? <laughs> <laughs> Rambo. <laughs> or maybe apprehend is the wrong word. Uh, <laughs> frightened off? <laughs> frightened I think it's off. time we went anyway. It was very nice. Oh, so sit down, will you? Look, I'm sorry about that, but uh, when the locks, the burglar will have his own key to them, and if he hasn't, he'll just stick a screwdriver through your window frame and your locks are gone. And locked inside doors, eh? He'll just take them off the hinges. And if you're out for the day, he'll lock the front door so he can hear you coming back. Then he'll be out over the back garden before you can think straight. And if you're in bed, he'll settle for your telly and your video. He'll take your phone number and then he'll scarf it. You seem to know a lot about it. Well, I do. We've been burgled a lot, you see, Ted. Uh, you obviously should have taken charge of the meeting. Uh, Paul, I think perhaps we'd better move on to the group home now. No, 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 Anna. Let's have the benefit of the man's experience. <laughs> now, why would he take the phone number? I think we'd better move on, Paul. Well, so you can phone. And if he gets no answer, he'll come back and he'll screw you proper. Uh, Pat, uh, didn't you have some news about the home for us? So all this has been a waste of time, obviously. I didn't say that. Halfway house, Pat? Well, it's nothing, really. So, in your expert opinion, what's the real answer? Abject surrender? No. A bloody big dog. <laughs> They found out that they can't afford to build the home after all. So the plans have been scrapped. Marvellous. Well, I wouldn't say that, Annabelle. No, lad, neither would I. What? I think you should all hang your heads in shame. Bob, they're not building it, so there's nothing to talk about. Why not? The home what meeting was a waste of time, so why not? I didn't say that. You certainly gave the impression. Well, it's been a lovely evening, Annabelle. Has it? Why should we hang our heads in shame? We call ourselves Christians, don't we? Bob, there's nothing to talk about now. Come on. No, hang on a minute, she. We call ourselves Christians, don't we? We put the blocks on helping people who've been sick. Bob, you're in Annabelle's house. I'm not having a go at her, am I? 
Listen, she, sit down. I've come here to speak and I'm going to speak about it. Yes, and you're speaking through ale. I'm as sober as a judge. Oh, I've got it, have I? We're all right, Jack. Forget about the nests. Hang on a minute. Listen, girl, I wouldn't sign a thing like that. None of the grants wouldn't. I'm proud of that. Hang on a minute. Don't go calling me, Bobby. I happen to agree with you, right? What? Yeah, I agree with you. But I don't think your wife does. What's she talking about? I signed, Bob. Some sort of leopard, am I? Eh? Why wasn't I asked? Don't ask me, Mr. C. Hey, but you better get in there and sort them out. Hey, you better make sure you got your rights here, Ritter H. Hey? Who gave you the right to speak for me? I never dreamt you'd be against this. Well, I am. Yeah, you would be a practicing Christian, aren't you? So you've said, more times than enough. Why wasn't I invited? See Doreen Corkill about that. Come on, we'll discuss this when we get home, mate. Eh? Oh, too right, we will. Good night. Good night. Lovely. Good night. Lovely. You're always the same with drink inside you. Oh, behave, will you? Mouth, mouth, mouth. You made a show of us. Was it your idea I wasn't invited? No. Well, that's what Sheila Grant says. Yeah, well, Sheila Grant's wrong, isn't she? You made him look an idiot in his own house. That's not very hard, is it? <laughs> the trouble I went to. The whole evening ruined. Well, what do you expect? The only decent neighbour we've got is Heather and she never came. Hours it took me. Thou and his kids are thugs. What are we going to do with all this? Well, Corkill's got a few skeletons in the cupboard. We should have cancelled as soon as we knew the policeman couldn't come. Oh, I think I coped rather well. You let the whole evening get totally out of hand. Me? Yes. I've got eyes in the back of my head and I wasn't even invited. Call yourself neighbours. Oh. Well, we're just going to have to eat some of this. Don't mind that. I want a drink. Hi, hi, where have you been? The Collins. Oh. Harry. What? Come here. What? Our invitation. 